Hello guys and welcome to a new Warno video today by me Vulcan. In this one I have for you game 3 of a best of 5 between Mix90 and T-Man plays in the grand final of the Division 1 playoffs of the Warno League. Today they are playing on Black Forest Duel and on our left in the blue team we have Mix90 repping one of my favourite divisions the 11th Parachutist. And on our right in the red team, we have T-Man Plays, who has managed to pick up the 24th US Infantry Division once again. This is going to be a really interesting matchup. You might be looking at this and thinking, oh, how has Mix let T-Man Plays have the 24th again? But it's not that bad, guys. The 11th Parachutiste is very good in the air, which means that potentially Mix can shut down the 24th in the air, with its own Mirage F1Cs and Mirage 2000s. We'll have to wait and see if that happens, but we are off. So let's have a quick look at the troops coming down. Mix-19 going to be taking good advantage of his forward deployment. He's got the Pada SAS here. He's got the Legionnaire Pada, some Chasseur Pada. He's got the Milan 2 Pada. He's got the uh, leader already capping the back sector. He's got a Gazelle Cannon, ERC-90 Sagi on the top side couple of Shasso Pada heading up onto the hill with a couple of Gazelle Cannons. Meanwhile, T-Man, he is going to be heading up with a Sniper. He's got a couple of AH-1F Cobras heading to the hill. Following that up with quite a sizable amount of infantry. He's got the fire team. He's got two engineers with flash launchers. He's got three engineers, or two engineers with Dragon with the military police, and two more military police behind, and two PVADs. And the Mirage F1C coming out early here from Mix-90. He's brought out two of them. It's a 2v2. But T Man's kept his together. So these Phantom 2s trying to shoot down the Mirage. So far, the Mirage has managed to dodge so many missiles. But all the while, the Cobras have just melted a para on the ground. And the Phantom 2s actually managed to win that engagement. Oh no, the missile, the last missile coming out of the Phantom 2 actually managed to fend off the Mirage 2000C. The H1F Cobra finishes off the second Shasta Pada on the bottom side. That is huge. Big, big start here for T-Man. Takes down a Mirage. Doesn't lose a Phantom. Kills both of the Shasta Pada up on the hill. Doesn't lose a single unit on the ground in the process. Honestly, T-Man here should turn around these M35s and get them loaded up again. He has managed to load back one of them. Uh, I think he was worried that the Gazelle Cannon was going to kill them in their transports. And he did manage to take out one of the M35s with the Gazelle Cannon. But yeah, the M35 is actually turning around here to pick up the engineers and move back onto this hill. Because the H1F Cobras have cleaned it out completely. Meanwhile though, in the town. Legion Air Pada against military police and engineers. We'll have to see how this goes. The engineers with those flash launchers will be affecting the cohesion quite quickly and this one having a real bad time oh look at those flash launchers go doing so much damage and the strafing runs coming in from the phantom 2s this isn't what you want to see mix should be doing this not t-man mix get your barrage in here <laughs> yeah unfortunately that initial engagement was really really bad for mix he wants his mirages to win those engagements so that he can basically strafe T-Man's infantry himself rather than be strafed by T-Man. But it turned out that T-Man actually ended up winning the engagement there and these mirages are failing massively at shooting down T-Man's aircraft. Now these Phantom 2s, they do have 20% ECM so that's nothing to scoff at but my my gosh, like, the Mirages have been absolutely awful throughout this series, and also in the semi-finals we saw the Mirages do terribly, which is really sad for me because I really, really like the Mirage F1C. It's one of my favourite aircraft in the game. Alas, T-Man has absolutely wiped the floor of Mix's infantry in this town. The Legionnaire Pada, they are not cheap. And they have been cleaned out without a single squad being lost from T-Man in that town. On the hill, 
the engineers have arrived here whilst the AH1F Cobras have safely departed from this location. There we go. That's more like it. That's what you want to see. The Mirage F1C cleanly killing the Phantom 2 and then they can go ahead and they can just strafe ground targets all day long. And that's what you want to see. Okay. We're off to the races, guys. We're off to the races. So the more of those Phantom 2s that go down, the better it is for Mix. Mix can really start to take control of the skies. He can then start to bring in the bombers, force Team Man to invest into lots of AA, and just start killing the AA and then carrying on with the air harassment. Like that's kind of the way that Mix wants to play. His infantry should be able to defeat Team Man's infantry one on one. The trouble with this town engagement is that the engineers with those flash launchers made such a huge difference in that engagement because the cohesion got ruined on those legionnaires. And then the engineers themselves still have shock, so the shock bonus that the legionnaires get wasn't really much to write home about. And then the military police just have sheer numbers um, to overwhelm them after the fact. Here we go, H1F Cobra coming back in to the field here. Uh, actually, that's two new AH-1F Cobras from Team Man. He's got four on the field now. They're going to be able to clean up the Chasseur Pada. The Chasseur Pada, 55 points. AH-1F Cobra, 120 points. This thing only has to kill two infantry squads. It's more or less paid itself off, which is why they're such good value and why Team Man is using so many of them in this case. Also, the Dragon Squad there managing to take out the RC. But here we go. That's what you want to see. The Mirage coming in. Absolutely slapping around the Cobras. But you've got to expect. You've got to expect the aircraft coming in for you. So I don't think he can really. He really should be doing this solo. Because he really puts himself at risk of them just being picked off. Right. And now because his F1C was like so deep on its own. There's no way he's going to be able to catch up to the Phantom 2 in time. But he might be able to score himself a kill onto another H1F Cobra. So it may not be so bad after all. But the PVAD's not going to be helping matters. And now we've got an Eagle on the scene. I was waiting for the Eagle to arrive. The F-15C Eagle. Certainly going to be a hard target for the Mirages and the uh, Mirage 2000s to kill. And so far we haven't really seen like a massive advantage in the skies. Honestly, after both of those Mirages went down, the F1Cs, Mix is, I think he only has like three air-to-air -air left, probably in his deck, because if I imagine correctly, he'll probably have like two cards of Mirage F1Cs and one card of Mirage 2000s, whereas T-Man will have the Phantom AAs and the Eagles. So we've already seen, I think, three Mirage F1Cs go down. Which is not good, because the way in which Mix would kill an F-15 and afterwards something like a Strike Eagle is by overwhelming it with MiG F-1Cs and Mirage 2000s. Well, <laughs> Mirage F-1Cs, not MiG F-1Cs. H-1F Cobra here, actually sneaking around the backside a little bit. Not really much benefit for Team Ad to do that. I think he's maybe just checking the forest. The Mirage 2000 actually managing to get a good engagement here with the Eagle. Oh, unlucky. The last two missiles do not connect. And the Eagle gets out alive. That would have been a huge kill. The other Mirage 2000. Can it get away from the Eagle? Keep flaring. Keep flaring. Gets out alive. Eagle left low. There's actually like a... There was a real chance there. As the Mirage F1C comes in to kill both of those F15s. The first one, really lucky to get out of there. Second one, punished. Rightly so. Get out of the sky, Mr. F15C. I'm well in favour of Mix winning this game. I want to see this go to a best of five. So Mix needs to keep these air trades going in his favour. Now, Legionnaire Pada moving in on this bottom side. I'm not too worried about Mix 
losing out on the bottom early on because mix is a very heavy infantry division so this terrain is obviously perfect for him he can he doesn't have to direct the attack into here he can just attack like move his infantry around the sides and then cut off the reinforcement roads at like this location and at this location and in doing so like strangle out this area just hit it with airstrikes after he kills the last AA here and there's nothing that they'll be able to do well that was a nice double kill beautiful and that's exactly what you want to see the legionnaire pattern there just cleaning out three engineer with flash launches in a very short amount of time perfect perfect it's exactly what you want to see um, he needs to get like another legionnaire around on this side to cover off this road and then just constantly bring in stuff that harasses this sector until he takes it for himself and then he can cancel out the plus two that t-man has then he's got to work a way into this town which would most likely in my opinion be smoke but it really depends if he's gonna utilize mortars to do that because the way he could do it is get a load of infantry to come down this road He's got a good position here, like really far up, so he knows how close he is to the town. All he'd have to do is smoke the last little distance, and then he'd be fine. F1C. Oh no, it doesn't have enough missiles. Wasted on its own. Oh, that's sad. H1F. We'll clean up the Legionnaire Paddle as well. That was so rightly in that position. Nice clean up by T-Man though. The only way that uh, Mix can really stop that is whenever he makes like a flanking push with his infantry, he brings Mistrals with him. But he's not going to have like a crazy amount of Mistrals available. I think the uh, actual availability on Mistrals is relatively low. Uh, so that's why you can see he's got the uh, Pamela VLRAs as well. These are just trucks with a Mistral system on the back of it. Here we go again. Oh, the Strike Eagle. Oh no, the Mirage 2000C going to get cleaned up by the PVADs. And the Jaguar here not able to finish off the Strike Eagle because it ha doesn't really have the armament to do so. Tragic as another air-to-air -air aircraft goes down. I think that's all of the Mirage F1Cs and the Mirage 2000 going down. I think he has one Mirage 2000 left and then the Jag there. The Strike Eagle can really start to come in into its own soon, and I'm I'm worried. I'm worried. It will very much depend on if the Pamela and the like other Mistral Palos can get the job done. Really. Uh, oh no 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 no! <laughs> Don't let them get killed for free. That's not what you want to see. The VLRA Pamela going down first. Looks like maybe a little bit of lazy micro there. Unfortunate. Well, the Legionnaires at least will be able to win the infantry engagements. But uh, yeah, since the Pamela was taken out, T-Man going to be confident to move forward with the AH-1F Cobra. And that will do a ton of damage very quickly with its 20mm chain gun. Plus the double Cobra setup, or double Hydra setup, sorry. Gazelle Cannon trying to move forwards, but the PVADs getting the job done. This Cobra also going to take out the Shasa Palace so fast. Pamela. And it's just to land a shot. The H1F Cobra has already done the damage. Two infantry kills in quick succession. And the military police are going to take the position of the damaged infantry up in the front in order to engage the oncoming legionnaires. Once again, I think there's our cannon coming over. Surely he knows it's going to suffer the same fate as the last. Very wasteful from Mix. Now those gazelle cannons, they're relatively cheap, but still <laughs> not an ideal use of them. ERC-90 Sergei has managed to get around the back here, which is good to see. Trying to cut things off. The H1F Cobra going to take off the chain gun. Easily gets through that ERC-90's armor. 
Another beautiful kill from the H1F, and he's going to land to stop the Jaguar from getting any shots on target. Bombing strike, nicely done from the Jag. Now, if he was, you know, winning the air battle, then you'd see Mirages strafing this all day long. But, uh, unfortunately, it's going to be a 2v1. Mirage 2000s versus two Phantom 2s. Mix knows that's a bad idea, but he has managed to fend them off. So the Jaguar might be able to come in here and get another bombing strike, but the H1F Cobra got resupplied and is tearing through these squads once again. Just look at that chain gun kill those so fast. Now the Jag here stayed in the air as the Phantom 2 and the F-15 came in. Another aircraft going down. The VLRA Pamela going down. Legionnaire Pala taken out. Ah, oh, this is disaster for Mix on this push on the hill. He lost so much and gained nothing. Got his VBL PC in there briefly. But the trades, the trades. I imagine the T in T man stands for trade man. Because <laughs> he's doing incredibly well in this series. Cluster Jaguar being brought in. I'm not entirely sure why. And the Cluster Jaguar can actually do some damage against infantry. That is the thing. But, uh, there are better options. Nice kill, though. Managed to take down a Strike Ego, at least. Mistral managing to get a shot on target. The trouble is, all the while, that Mix has been investing a lot into this push. T-Man has slowly been adding to his forces on the top side, I think. Now another Strike Eagle coming in. That's going to finish off the Pada SES, removing the last of the infantry in the sector. These two Shasa Pada are going to be able to engage the engineers, but uh, I imagine the Strike Eagle will come round and try and engage that, but it's going to fly over a lot of Mistrals. And they all missed, because it's got 40% ECM, of course. All right, well, Sapper Pala up against multiple small, small squads of infantry, but these have flash launchers, and those flash launchers are very nasty. Oh, that's just really disgusting. Nice bombing strike will take out two of the squads, but both the Sapper Pala have gone down. Now the Jaguar. Oh, that's why he brought it in. He's using it to kill helicopters. That makes sense. So, it does still have a very good gun. Like, it's got the dual 30mm. And then he's also got two infrared missiles. So, it's actually set up pretty well for shooting down aircraft, which is why he's brought in the cluster in that case. But the Pamela struggling to get in position in time to save the Shasupada up on the hill and once again the H1Fs get a full reload from the supply and come back just absolutely smashed to pieces the units here and that Pamela might not reload in time gets stunned takes gets taken out even the counter being chewed up and a bit of a push here from Mix 90 into the town but the engineers with the flash launches Killing off the Shasso Pada so fast. Again, it's just another masterclass in trading. Mix just behind the majority of the game. Now he's just got <laughs> fighters hanging around in his air spawn. So he's not able to really react to anything that's happening. And the trouble is with the 11th Parachutiste, if you don't get a good start, and you're not persistently aggressive, you don't control the skies, you will just lose. And that's kind of what we're seeing here. Now, T-Man just controlling Mix's air spawn. He knows that Mix really doesn't have much in the way of AA to even bring in to stop him from doing this. 
because the 11th relies a lot on their aircraft as their AA. So it's likely that Mix has like a card of Mistral Powder and then the Pamela's. And like that'll be it, basically. And the Phantom 2 and the Eagle just free to evac away from his spawn. It's crazy. The position that, that T-Man is in is so dominant right now. And the Savapada, they're not able to do anything here. Getting absolutely bullied at close range by multiple squads. Trying their best. Looks like the ML90 Lynxes are trying to get involved. This is one unit that we didn't see used at the start of the game, which was interesting to me. I think these AMX, AML90s are really nice because they're similar to Foxes in their capability where you can kind of like run them around the map and on Black Forest there's quite a lot of like ways in which you can get across into the back line and then snipe people's um, transports but we didn't see any of that this time around and uh, that's a lot of whoop antigen which makes me a bit worried that he is getting light on infantry availability already which wouldn't I guess wouldn't surprise me with the amount of kills that these Cobras have got. He's going to need it to get through this M1IP anyway. So it will work out in that case. But one of the AML-90 Lynxes has gone down there. The second one's going to go down to the Ito as well. Phantom 2 did get punished for hanging around at the spawn. So that's good. But both of those aircraft immediately told to leave. There's actually, like, just the PVADs here again. So, bombing strikes are still very viable on this bottom side for Mix, as long as, like, T-Man doesn't have his AA available. And since he used up all of his fuel on the F-15 and the other Phantom, it actually means that they're going to take a lot longer to resupply and come back onto the field. But the M1IP, I mean, T-Man's seen the anti-channel, so... He's just going to back up with the M1IP as much as he needs to. Military police are trying to hold the line. And they're doing so quite successfully against the group Antichar here. Military police also doing a good job. We got probably what looks like a bit of a last ditch effort here on the bottom side. T-Man sitting on the plus two with 7 minutes 30 seconds till victory. The ERC-90 Sage is coming in for a mix. We'll be able to help quite significantly against like Engineer Dragons and Military Police. As long as the Sage's can sit at close range with the, the Dragons, they're absolutely fine. Because the HGMs have a minimum range. And in this case, nice kill onto the M1 IP. But another Mirage has just gone down. That's the last Mirage, I think. Now dead in the water. And... Uh, yeah. We're seeing the ERC-90 Sagays get popped. Strike Eagle coming about for the bombing strikes onto the infantry. And Jaguar not getting close as the Eagle and Phantom come in again. As they retreat, the Jaguar is now coming in. Seems futile to me to be sending a cluster Jaguar to go and engage enemy aircraft. Does he have another target for it? Going for the M1 IP. He changes the target at the last minute to the Bradley and does manage to kill it, but it will get shot down by the abundance of AA in the center. Meanwhile, T-Man is slowly but surely losing ground here. The Cobras are uncontested. And they have landed, they have got resupplied. And the Antichar, the Shazapada, just got melted. Phantom 2, not getting the kill. But the chain gun certainly will. Oh, this infantry just getting melted by these AH-1F Cobras. Oh, it's painful to watch. As the AH-1Fs once again tear apart T-Man's hopes, or sorry, Mix's hopes and dreams of 
getting anywhere near this final. Mix has to take a game here if he wants to stay in the final. But it's looking very much like 3 0. As T Man continues to get value out of the H1Fs, and Mix has nothing to stop him. And the trouble is, all of the AA that was left was in the middle of the map. And it's like the last place that Mix 90 wants to be pushing. And the Phantom 2 there, getting the kill onto the Shadow Pada. Two more ERC 90 Sergeys get taken out in the mid by the M1 IP Abrams. I can imagine that T Man is starting to smell blood. Because the fire team's moving forwards with the military police. They're going to be backed up by four M1 IP Abrams on the stop side. The ERC 90 Sergeys not going to be able to do anything against his M1 IPs. Nice push coming through here on this road with the Chasseau Pada, though. Cheeky flank. And we do have F1 CTs that can land bombs onto those Abrams at least. So a little bit of laser guided bombs to the face for T-Man. But the F-15C taking out at least one of them. Gets a taste of his own medicine, T-Man. But uh, going to be shrugging it off. We'll be happy with one of the Mirages going down. Because meanwhile, he has managed to get a lot of ground. And the Shrike Eagle there actually managed to kill one of the Shazapada. So it's just military, one military police versus one Shazapada. The Abrams still making good ground here with this infantry. Plus two still counting in favour of T-Man. Mix trying to cut off the reinforcements. The Bradleys have already made it through. Maybe he can kill the Cobras. Oh no, the Cobras are taking off at exactly the right moment. Oh no. Unbelievable. Oh, stop. Oh no. Oh no. Mix, you tried, buddy. You tried. That is just movies of a horror scene right there, and rightly so. Mix will throw in the towel for that one. Oh, painful. 6,830 kills, 3,285 losses. I can't help but feel like Mix90 had the perfect idea going into this one. It was like, you know what? I'll let him have the 24th. I don't care. I'm going to go 11th Parachute East and I'm going to absolutely annihilate him in the sky because French fighters are awesome and Warno is a game made in France. So what could go wrong? And you know what went wrong? Everything. The Phantoms beat the Mirages. The Cobras went absolutely crazy in that game. Look at the kills. That's so many kills. <laughs> I wish I could click the uh, profile button because it would show us like how many kills that Cobra got in in like numbers. But just look at this Phantom Two Mirage F One C Mirage F One C. Um, another H One F Cobra going crazy. Strike Eagle free like free hitting the entire game. Um, Phantom Two Mirage Two Thousand kill. Did the F Fifteen even get a kill? The F-15C. It looks like it was all the Phantoms. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, the Phantom 2s are really good, right? Because they are cheap, they have 20% ECM, and they have both long and short range missiles. All right, they are a very, very good aircraft for their price. But... You just don't expect them to lose so hard or, or win so hard against F1Cs. And you can see that the F1Cs, you know, did kill a eagle. There was a chance for Mix at one point to kill both the eagles. But at that, up to that point, Mix hadn't got a single kill. The first kill that 
Mix 90 got on the ground was 9 minutes and 44 seconds into the game. And that's when his Legionnaire Pala killed the three engineers on the road. That was the first ground kills he got. Unbelievable. T-Man, T-Man is a god. <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Well deserved, T-Man. Well deserved. 3-0 in the grand final. Wins $231. Money going straight to the bank. But commiserations to Mix. Still goes home with $115. Not a bad day at the office. And yeah. That is it. From the Warner League. For this season. I know I was a bit late on uh, uploading a lot of this stuff. But uh, obviously we had many distractions. Which hopefully you guys enjoyed as well. Uh, in the form of like Broken Arrow and the campaign coming out and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, these these games have been very fun to play. Oh, very fun to uh, cast, sorry. And uh, yeah, just shows uh, how good T-Man really is uh, in this uh, grand final. Wow. Very impressive. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.